May Allah give you good health, I mean, may Allah grant you happiness, I mean, may Allah push your hand to click subscribe to my channel, I mean, Allahumma inni as'aluka big G wagon, I mean. Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. If you're here, subscribe, like this video, leave a lovely comment because I would appreciate it. If you don't have an account, I'm talking to you. Make an account. Subscribe right now and I will appreciate you forever because 65% of you are not subscribed. Okay, 65. As long as you guys are here and enjoying, that's all that matters. But also, like, subscribe. Let me know if you guys want to see it more of these videos let's get into a little workout i'm kind of moving more into a healthy girl fitness realm and enjoying the process seeing where the process takes us and where the process goes if you guys just see me disappear before your very eyes don't be alarmed if you guys see everybody running out of the gym for cover because i'm working out so hard don't be alarmed this is all like very usual you know this is a casual everyday business for me but in all seriousness i'm getting into it she's getting into it if you're watching this and you want to get into it i know you can get into it and i believe in you and you can do that so i want to clarify i'm not a doctor i'm not a dentist in the past few months i've lost a little bit of weight and also felt more energized by eating more whole foods more veggies more fiber, more protein, and these are some of the things that have been helping me. It's really reaching through that right arm. I feel like that was the perfect workout to start the day. I love Pilates workouts because they're just so accessible, they're so easy. Not easy, but you know, like you can just do it in your home. Quick 25 minutes, quick 30 minutes, quick 40 minutes. Right now, we're about to go and grab some ingredients. I need breakfast. I'm about to get ready. My makeup brushes are like so nice and clean. I feel like getting ready when your makeup brushes are like fresh. It's just, you know, the girls that get it, get it. Like when the brushes are all like fluffy, it's like. You know, I'm going to link all of the products that I use in the description. I'm going out like right after I eat breakfast. So I feel like if I get ready, I'll be quick on the move. The foundation that I've been loving lately is the NARS. I'm using the hourglass. Uh, using the hourglass um, brush to blend it out i feel like it's just such a nice i'll link in the description as well yeah what has happened what has happened to sheena i was watching a murder documentary while getting ready as you do so this is the hourglass let me show you guys this is so good like at first i put it on i was like mm, this is overhyped but then i was like wait a minute i just need to use a little bit more product i use this color and this color Sometimes a little bit of this. Just be like super generous with it. Like just using a little bit like... Hello? But honestly, she's so cute. So guys, if you guys want to listen to one of my recommendations, this blush. I'm going to leave the link in the description. Another one of my obsessions at the moment is then um, NARS Start Me Up Matte Lipstick. No, because I'm literally, like, majority of the way through this. I think I need to get another one soon. This, those are my current two favourite makeup products. You guys know I'm obsessed with blush. But I feel like blush, when I put the setting spray on, it kind of, like, fades away. Because I have quite oily skin. So as my skin gets dewy, the blush looks less and less prominent. Okay? Yeah. I'm making some avocado toast with some cucumber on the side and some tomato because my favorite current combination is av I forgot to buy olives but avo sorry cucumber tomato and olives with a little bit of mint oh my god look it's me 
So we're getting into some toast, some avocado toast, and I prep my eggs. I like my eggs a little bit runny in the middle. Usually I have brown or whole wheat bread, but I had white bread, so that's what we're having today. And a way for you to feel a lot more full is to have some veggies on the side. I feel like it just adds a little bit more freshness. I prefer tomato, cucumber, and olives. I my little veggies, little, cu little cucumber, little tomato, little olives, little just a quick little one too. And there we have it. I also added a little bit of hummus with some chicken for protein. I'm having this coffee. It's from this brand called um, DXN, um, which my auntie lovely gave, which my lovely auntie gave to me. So DM me on Instagram if you want more details. I have this coffee with Ganoderma and mushroom extract, and yeah, it's it. They're in, based in the, they're based all over the world, but they're also in the UAE. This coffee, um, as opposed to other coffees I've had, it doesn't make me feel like sluggish. You know that that coffee feeling afterwards. It just makes me feel like more energized. I really like it a lot. Welcome to my mukbang. Okay, um, I'm just having like a mish. I'm having like a mishmash of different stuff. I love hummus. I'm watching like a murder, I love murder criminal documentaries. CSI, Criminal Minds. If you know, you know, okay. Let me know, recommend me some good ones, okay. S something about them. You may not have the audacity to be scared or nervous or whatever it might be. I also have some fruit on the side, dragon fruit. Dragon fruit basically tastes like kiwi, a way that I've kind of been enjoying eating better is like trying like new fun fruits or just same old fruits <laughs> fixing my hijab to go out little hijab tutorial i pin right underneath my chin but i don't i don't make it too tight because like it just gets a bit uncomfortable if you make it too tight you can get like a mark underneath your chin um okay so and then i just flip it around pull it here Tuck. take the scenic crew and get those steps in but guys i've seen some of the largest wasps i've ever seen in my life so now i'm like unnecessarily very very cool cool means hot i'm currently on my way to this cafe it seems quite cute and it looks quite cute um it's called villa 515 and i may or may not have evening plans i'm probably gonna go home and cook because i prefer i prefer home cooked meals So we're at Villa 515 today and it's so cute. I saw this place and it was so aesthetic so I was meaning to check it out. And they also, I didn't know they had a perfumery so I thought I'd have a little browse around while I was there. Um, I just got from this cafe. It turns out it's actually like a perfume shop and a cafe. Hi, how are you? Good, alhamdulillah. I'm from Ethiopia. I'm from Ethiopia. You? Somali. I can speak Arabic. Do you know how to speak Arabic? Like, I don't know. Shay, Shay. Okay. Salam alaikum. What do you mean? They don't speak Arabic. Some do. A lot of students, but I wasn't raised here or anything, so I never learned Arabic. I know like
um, a few phrases. Occasionally, I understand. Most of the time, Mafi, Mafi. <laughs> We have arrived and it's super cute in here. I love the aesthetic. I love I'm an aesthetic baby. I'm not gonna lie. When some some place looks cute and aesthetic and like girly like cafe vibes, it's a bit of me. It's a bit of me. You know what I mean? Somebody take me. It's like you know what I mean? It's like I've been collected from the Rafat and placed in a new environment. We're here for it. So yeah, I'm at this place. It's a cafe called Villa 515. I'm gonna get like a little bite to eat. To be honest, my breakfast kind of filled me up so I'm not really hungry hungry. But I'm gonna eat anyway because I'm gonna go on a walk after this and I know I'm gonna get stuck in Marvin up there. Oh my god, the sun's out now. I'm trying to be a little bit more like active, active on my socials. So follow me on my socials, like things on my socials, like this video, and subscribe. I'm getting an acai smoothie, I mean acai bowl. I was contemplating between the acai smoothie and the acai bowl, but they don't have smoothies. So I'm gonna get an acai bowl. Hopefully that comes through soon. I'm starting to get a little bit peckish, but I kind of wanted something refreshing as well, which is why I got an acai bowl. I was kind of leaning towards a salad, but I just feel like an acai bowl would be like nice, cold, you know. So we have banana, acai, blueberries, strawberries, other berries. Strawberries, did I say strawberries? Peanut butter. <laughs> what do I have that in my car? Hi guys, you know, um, I realized, I realized recently, like, what you, like when I get a little bit nervous, I just break out in Somali, which is great, which is wonderful. Usually you'd think it would be the opposite, but got my little estable. That was such a cute experience. This place is just so cute. It's so aesthetic and cute and girly. Now I'm gonna be on my way. So yeah, now I'm heading out. So according to my Google Maps and my calculations, there's like um, a cafe. Wait, 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 wait. It's like this cafe that I really used to really like going to and it's like three minutes that way. So I was like, probably not gonna go again because I, um, I haven't been like, as explorey recently. I've low-key become a homebody that I know. If I don't go today, I'm probably never gonna go back, so why not? So, guys, subhanAllah, look at the timing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Guys, you see that bus behind me? It goes all the way to, hello? It goes all the way to, I nearly, I nearly fell, but okay. Um, that bus behind me, it goes all the way to Dubai Mall. And I was planning to go to the mall later because um, number one to get some perfumes and number two because I need some like work help I don't have any gym clothes like how am I supposed to be a gym babe in my drag sheet it's not giving serious do you know what I mean like I need people to step back when they see me in my gym fit I need people to tremble to be like whoa like this girl she she been working out she, She's been in the gym, she's been she's been going hard, 75 hard. Look, 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 oh my god, this girl is like, we don't even have numbers for her. She's been going like 300 million infinity hard. Yeah, that's my mom. We're, um, we're going to a cute little cafe, then we're gonna go to the mall, do a bit of 
go off shopping and then we're gonna go home and cook. Um, so, um, one of my friends is in the city and I really wanted to meet her later, but the time that she wanted to meet is like 11 p.m. But guys, I'm gonna tell you guys something, a little secret, right? My sleeping pattern has been so bad this Ramadan that I would not recommend doing this, but occasionally, I stay up so late and I stay awake so late like I was awake at like 4 or 5 a.m. and I thought you know what I'll just stay awake the whole day and I'll go to bed earlier than that. Does anybody else do that? Is it is it like a sickness? So I actually haven't slept so as much as I'd love to really meet my friend later I don't think I'm gonna make it so later on if I'm outside at 11 30 p.m. Guys, you guys know that I've lost my nut. I've lost my crack. I've, I may be on. How am I looking on a 0 0.5? Oh, we've arrived. This is the cafe that I want to come to. It's so cute. It's so cool and cute outside. And look, I can get a cool and healthy drink. A matchalini. Ramadan decorations. How are you? Um, should I sit down to order? Where should I sit? Can I go to the rooftop? Is it open? No. Okay. Is the garden open? Oh, you open at 6 30. Uh, The sun is about to set and it looks so gorgeous up here. Wow, so pretty, so freaking fun. Like, oh my God, like a selfie stick. Who ever stopped using selfie sticks? Cause they're honestly amazing. Oh my God, wow. Yes, it's giving us a black a bite of the day fit. Okay. But I also want to stress the importance of enjoying what you put into your body, not just for the purpose of aesthetics, but food is for survival and also for enjoying. Super cute and peaceful. Um, I haven't been to the beach in like... I haven't been to the beach in like... Probably like... Maybe like two weeks. I haven't properly swam since like last time I was here and like maybe months and months ago so I really do want to go so much I'm off topic now I just want to go and like for me going to the beach and just looking at the waves hearing the waves that is that is good for me that is good with me so yeah I'm gonna go and do that I'm gonna go take in the fresh air and then so, I'll be back. Generally, what I eat changes from day to day, but I also love cooking. This is your sign. Like for the longest time, I was told that I can't cook, but I always said, all I have to do, oh, how hard can it be? And this is your sign if you're not interested in cooking or if you've never cooked before, or if people don't believe in you that you can cook. It's as simple as following a recipe, putting your spin on it. Almost a macrib, and I just walked past the massage. Mashallah, Mubarak. Like you could see everybody sitting outside, like with their food waiting. But what they were doing is what took not my interest. But I didn't obviously I didn't stare, but I just I just kind of no glance as I walked past, and I noticed that they were making dua. Like you could see, like everybody with their hands up making dua before they break their fast. And it just honestly, I don't know what it is. Like it just made me so happy. Like Allahu, like whatever they're making to Allahu, Haka Abbaro, Amin, Amin. And yeah, it kind of inspired me to make dua. Allahu, Qafasta, Wahan Dawanaya. Guys, like everybody that's watching this, may Allah give you good health. Amin. May Allah grant you happiness. Amin. May Allah. Push your hand to click subscribe to my channel. I mean, hello, my in the look at big G wagon. I mean, but no, but seriously, like the sun is setting, and yeah, this is your encouragement to make dua for people, even if they don't know you, they don't know nothing about you. 
for your friends, for your family, for your loved ones. Because when you make dua for other people, that comes back ten times. Ten, well, not sakla, not ten times, but you know what I mean. Do good, and good will come to you. Is what I mean. So I'm trying to walk to the beach, which is supposedly just around this corner. The beach is on the other side of these buildings, but I haven't been able to find an entryway. I thought it would be so easy, guys. This is what happens when you just follow Google Maps and vibes, but I feel like round this bend, after 10 minutes of walking, is my entry to the beach. And hopefully I get there before it gets dark. Okay, I'm not there yet, but this is looking very, very hopeful. Yeah, I feel like I'm on my way to the beach each. <laughs> Let's go get away. There's sand in my eyes, but I'm trying to romanticize the moment. Walking towards the sunset. Try not to get hit by this car. Wow, the sky is looking incredible and I'm not e I'm not even at the beach here. Look how gorgeous the sunset is. How can you not believe it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when the sky looks like this? So No, this is that's literally all I needed to see. Okay, let's go. So as the waves crash and the waves come in and the waves go, Maghrib dawned upon us. So it was just so nice to listen to the Quran and just like the waves, Ramadan has come and it's almost gone and it's been so quickly. The month of the Quran, it's been such a beautiful month and I hope that we all leave Ramadan on a good note and also if you feel like there's more that you can do, there's still a couple more days left of Ramadan to end Ramadan on a high note. Tomorrow is always a new day and you can always be better than the person that you were yesterday and the person that you were the day before that and the day before that and the day before that. In this perfume shop, um, I don't know how we got here but we're here and if this is not an incentive for somebody to buy from this shop, I don't know what it is. Like, whilst you wait, you get to sit in this throne with a freaking crown. And, sorry, do I get the stick as well? Hello, Thank you. Yes. Oh, hello. <laughs> You're the next F for the throne. <laughs> Look. The throne is king. Huh? Yeah, but that's uh, on the way. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is the highlight of my day, I'm not even gonna lie. Because, like where can I buy this in, in real life? I feel like I need to put one of these clips everywhere. This is real princess treatment. It's even later in the night. And once again, um, I don't know how I got here. But I'm here. I feel like there's gonna be one more um, fountain show. It's felt like I just needed a moment to just gather myself and then I'm gonna go home and hopefully I'm gonna make I really wanna make like lentil soup. I think I love lentil soup. <laughs> been enjoying having more fruit is or to be fair it's not even about enjoying more fruit i've just really been loving watermelon smoothies and juices they're just so good and what i like about them is this is an ad for watermelons okay watermelon sponsor me but i was making my smoothie and i was like why is it not blending because i forgot to put the freaking blade in the blender but anyway we move and it was so good and delicious Watermelon smoothie, let me tell you, that's where it's at. Oh my god, I found I found a tiny little pepper in my pepper. 
I also love soup. This is me preparing my lentil soup, as you can see in this dinner and this end of the vlog.